ECR's Anthony Wagner number 33 caught the second half opening kickoff and returned the ball almost 25 yards to the ECR 39. On first down, John Mazer number 11 went deep to Zinner from Geekers number 42 with the ball just off his fingertips. Mike Mao number 32 showed his power by shrugging off Brian Hansen's tackle to avert a loss. Unfortunately, ECR was not able to move the ball and was forced to punt with receiver calling for a fair catch at their own 30-yard line. On first down, receiver's P. Mezzan number 30 was quickly tackled for no gain by Mag Zion number 24. Unable to get a first down, receiver punted the ball. Starting at their own 31, ECR went with their running game beginning with Rod Gettle number 43 getting 4 yards on the right side and then behind the blocking of Bruce Barker number 75 and Mike Peterson number 62. Dennis Branigan number 12 showed his power by going for 13 yards and a first down. Rod Gettle moved the ball to midfield. And then Mike Moa went up the middle for 5 yards almost breaking for a long run but being tripped up by number 64 Phil Potts. Then Rod Gettle again going up the right side for 5 yards and a first down at the receiver 40. With first down at the 40, ECR went up the middle but was stopped for no gain. Unable to move the ball further, ECR punted the ball where Rick Etchison number 87 downed the ball at the 2 yard line pinning receiver deep in their own territory. Faced with a stiff ECR defense, receiver was only able to move the ball to the 5 yard line and punted from their own end zone. ECR took over at receiver's 35 but was unable to capitalize on the good field position, losing 11 yards on 3 plays and was forced to punt on 4th and 21 from the receiver 43. Receiver again ran into the ECR defense with Armand Williams number 70 stopping page old number 22 for no gain, and pressuring quarterback Mike O'Hara number 18 resulting in an incomplete pass with Brett Wilson number 30 on the coverage. At the start of the fourth quarter, Armand Williams was again pressuring the quarterback but this time Matt Zion beat him there, tackling Mike O'Hara in the end zone for a safety. Score ECR 31, receiver 7. With receiver punting the ball after the safety, Xenophon Geekers showed his speed almost breaking the return before being tripped up by Chris Errolman number 62 at the receiver 41 yard line. Coming in at quarterback. Tony Warner number 14 mishandled the snap but calmly picked up the ball and hit David Storassi number 23 bringing the ball to the 30 yard line and a first down. After missing a clear roughing the passer penalty, the referees threw a flag on ECR and moved ECR back 15 yards to their 44 yard line. Tony Warner then handed the ball off to Anthony Wagner and behind a block by John Porter number 81, broke a tackle and gained 14 yards over the right side. Frustratingly, ECR was penalized again nullifying the play and moving the ball back to the receiver 39. ECR was unable to move the ball, with Tony Warner after being pressured by Phil Pons throwing an incomplete pass. And a draw play by Shannon Barton number 40 getting 4 yards. It looked like ECR was going to get a break on the punt when it appeared Tom Bashara number 80 fumbled the ball after number 64 Lance Wilson tackled him at the 35 but the play was already blown dead. With ECR being penalized another 15 yards, receiver started from the 50 yard line with a quick screen to the right side and was held to only 3 yards by a slashing tackle by Lance Bet number 86. Receiver got the first down on the next play on a 10 yard pass to Page Old on the left sideline and then gain up the middle for 10 more yards to the ECR 27. A quarterback bootleg to the left was stopped for a short game with an open field tackle by Mike Ermey number 20, and then back to Page Old on the left sideline to the 18. The game film then picks up with receiver at the ECR 9 yard line with a first and goal. Dropping back to pass, Mike O'Hara was caught by Steven Johnson number 68 for a 7 yard loss but that play was called back. With Steven Johnson and Matt Zion again applying heavy pressure on the quarterback, Don Harrisberger number 85 intercepted the ball and returned it to the ECR 43 with a touchdown saving tackle by Paige Old. ECR didn't fare much better. After a 6 yard gain by Anthony Wagner, Tony Warner went deep and under through an open John Porter and the ball was intercepted by number 14 Mark Beltran who took it back to their 45 yard line.
On second down while under pressure from Arnon Williams, Mike O'Hara targeted Harold Bell number 86 down the right sideline. The pass was incomplete but ECR was called for pass interference and that made it first down for a cedar at the ECR 40. Now it was time for some razzle dazzle. Mike O'Hara pitched the ball to Paige Old, who handed off to Harold Bell who handed off to Tom Bashara. With P. Mezzer's block setting the outside corner, Tom Bashara ran down the left hand sideline for 21 yards to the ECR 90. Paige Old was then gang tackled at the 15 after a 4 yard gain, and a penalty flag moved it to the 8 yard line. Then with 2.53 left in the game, Mike O'Hara found Paige Old on the goal line for the score. A high snap on the point after touchdown. And the score was ECR 31, Reseda 13. After the kickoff it was ECR's ball at the 20. A quick screen to Steve Graham number 22 got 9 yards. But ECR was unable to make a first down and was forced to punt. Virgil Redmond number 46 then hit a 42 yard punt moving receiver to their own 31 yard line. Receiver went back to the razzle dazzle but this time with the ball winding up with Mike O'Hara, who had to throw the ball away while under pressure from Don Harrisberger and Steven Johnson. That ends the game film for ECR vs receiver with the final score ECR 31. Receiver 13.